Hello everyone, welcome back fellow programmers to another exciting episode of Coding with Kids channel. Today we are diving into a fundamental data structures in the world of program Q. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out programming tutorials. Okay, so what, what exactly is a Q? Think of it as a real life queue like the one you stand in at the grocery store or ticket counter. It's a linear data structure that follow the first in first out principles. It's called simply FIFO. The first element added to the queue is the first one to be removed. So again, the first element added to the queue is the first one to be removed. That's the queue. Actually, there are two queue operations. Uh, queue support to primary operations is the calling the NQ and DQ. We are considering NQ. So NQ is a add in an element to the back of the queue. And second one is a DQ. The DQ is removing the element from the front of the queue. Now we are moving to the use cases. So use cases are queues are incredibly useful in the various scenarios. For instance, they are used in print job scheduling and managing tasks in an operating systems and even in web service to handle incoming requests like that. Let's our important part is coding. Now we are going to the coding practices. Now our now let's get our hand dirty with some codes. We will implement a simple queue in Java. In our previous videos, everyone knows the basic things of the implementing data structures, linking and stacks, the previous videos. Now, first thing is, say, we want to create a queue. So, so everyone understanding, I am here, say, sample comment line, creating a queue. Yes. How to initialize uh, our queue? Queue. We are going to initialize a uh, string queue equal new link list. Then we want to add the element to the our queue. It's calling inquiry element. Calling NQ elements. How to enquiring of elements? Say Q dot add. What is the our first element? He calls Alice. What are the our second one? So add the so Bob. Second one we are calling a Bob. So second element. And adding third element. Third element is Charlie. Yes, that's enough. So three elements added. Then now we are going to print our queue. Queue implementation is okay. Now we are going to print our queue. Yes, we can see what is the result. So command line now on spring root run. Yes, our queue is implemented. So Alice, Bob, Charlie. So first element, second element, and third element. So okay. 
now we are going to coding with our second part is a dq in the element dq in the dq in elements how to dq in the element no. q is string remote q dot Oh, very simple. Remote. Now we going to print our result of the DQ in the element. The print remove the element. remote from the queue and we want to see our updated queue update queue updated Yes, that's all. Very simple. Then run again our program. We can see the results. Says when we project is started. Yes, so our queue is pinned. First one is okay. The remote from the queue is Alice. It's the first element of our queue. So Alice. Alice is remote. Then we see the updated queue. Updated queue is Bob and Charlie. It's a very simple. So it's a very simple, but it's a very important point of the programming in the queue. And there you have it, a simple Java queue implementation. Queues are essential for managing tasks and data efficiently in various programming scenarios. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it thumbs up and share it with your fellow coders. Don't forget to subscribe Coding with Kids for more exciting programming content. If you have any questions or suggestions for your videos, feel free, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Happy coding and thank you.